Hi everybody, this is Keith Couch with Rush Truck Sales, uh, Rocky Mountain Peterbilt's out of Greeley, Colorado. Got a gorgeous one for you here today. It's a 2020 Peterbilt 567 day cab. It is black with uh, radiant red fenders. Absolutely beautiful truck. Uh, this one is a platinum interior with the graphite uh, addition, or addition, I should say. This is the big engine. It's the Cummins X15 605 2050 torque. But it's on 11R22.5 rubber with the Peterbilt uh, uh, wheels. All polished. Put the jump post right back here. So if you needed to jump a pony motor or anything like that. The medium def tank. Got an 80 gallon driver's side or roadside fuel tank got a 120 on the other side get the hodge belt uh, quarter fenders Bridgestone M843 rear drivers it's just absolutely a gorgeous truck 225 inch wheelbase we did disc brakes all the way around Just a good looking truck. Air slide fifth wheel. Get the deck plate. Access steps on the on the fuel tank. Just did two load lights on the rear. You got three fixed windows. Get good light into the cab. I think he's gonna wind up tinting these. Polished after treatment. And it's ready to, for lights. They make nice lights kits for these, and we got everything's ready to go. So you just plug and play. Let's take a look under the hood. Cummins X15, 605 horsepower, 2,050 foot pounds of torque. It's a new X15. Did an air ride steer axle on this one. Takes away all the noise, vibration, and harshness of the road. Disc brakes up front. There's our two tone. You can see where they kind of line the fenders at the factory for the two-tone fenders. I think it'd look good if you paint these these lights uh, the same color as the fender, the radio beds, paint the back. That would look really sharp. Cummins X15 with the Davco fuel filter. Lid for the release bearing. These are their airbags. This would be a absolutely beautiful truck. Beautiful truck to drive. Let's take a look at the inside. It's got full lockers. Got to mention that one has its back. Beautiful door panels with the gray simulated wood. Got the nice seats, black leather seats with red stitching. Kind of got a gear shift here that kind of looks like the uh, Pride and Class. Very, very similar to the, pretty much is the Pride and Class. You got all the controls on the steering wheel. You fire it up. A factory CB in it. 
This one has navigation. You get some extra uh, gauges there. And that's the only way you're going to get a whole bunch of gauges in here, because otherwise you can only fit six manual gauges in here. So you kind of have to go to the navigation to uh, be able to get all the gauges you want. Now they're digital, but Jake Brake is right here. Off, two, four, six, or low, medium, high. Tilt telescope steering. Uh, this one's got carpet in it. We've put the floor mats in it. We still got the plastic on the carpet. We're not going to take that off yet. Rear document holder in the back wall. There's your trailer brake control. It's got this cool little deal over here. If you got a passenger, they can slide that out, put a laptop on there or whatever they want. They can do a little work. Not sure how practical that is, but it is kind of cool. Power windows, power locks. Just an absolutely beautiful truck. 567s have a great field of view out the front. And this has got the uh, the memory seat, so when you get out, the seat lowers to the floor and you get back in, it senses the weight and lifts you back up. So, just thought I'd run that by you. Absolutely gorgeous truck. 18 speed, I think I forgot to mention that. But just a beautiful truck. Absolutely gorgeous. Just another one of the few trucks we do around here. It's not our typical 389, but uh, we're doing more and more of these 567s. And just wanted to share one with you. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Keith Couch with Rush Truck Center, Rocky Mountain Peterbilt's, Greeley, Colorado, 970-691-3877. Thank you for watching.